it is the day of an amazing battle. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? <laughs> keep you powered up? So it is the day of an amazing battle. First thing when I wake up, Hello everybody, this is Yaya, you might know me from America's Best Dance Crew, So You Think You Can Dance or as a robot girl from Step Up and Steezy and I'm here to help you on a body recovery and health journey while petting Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> So I started my health journey uh, firstly for environmental reasons, but also I started it because of health reasons. In 2017, I was diagnosed with cancer in situ and I wanted to take a healthy approach and a different approach than the usual surgery and treatments. So I decided to went a whole plant-based diet and completely change everything from cosmetics to how I take care of my body to what I eat. Personal health and taking care of your body relates to dance because we are athletes and I really do believe that we should be treating our mind, mental health and our body physical health as high level athletes as well. So I'm combining eating lifestyle, meditation, body recovery to be the best version of myself as I could be for dance. Mental health is really important, especially for dancers, because a lot of our injuries or illnesses or when our body is tired come from mental state. Uh, what I also see a lot in dancers is that they are not able to concentrate or focus or even be creative in different kind of ways. If you are combining the healthy eating and meditation together, it is really going to build up your mental state to where you will be able to concentrate in learning choreography or freestyling. So the basic understanding of meditation is basically focusing and being able to focus on just your breath. So when you are inhaling, you focus on your breath. When you are exhaling, you still focus on your breath. You don't let any other thoughts come into your head. This is really just helping you in dance to focus on the present moment, on your body. Another kind of meditation is where you are meditating, focusing on the breath, but also you are visualizing a certain thing in dance that you want to improve. For example, you are visualizing yourself learning choreography in the dance studio. Your goal right here is to really visualize yourself, the teacher and the dance steps. Just by practicing this visualization, your physical body will be improving as well to learn the choreography better. So I use nature as my personal de-stressor because in nature I can really relax, focus and connect with the nature and really disconnect for the everyday stress, dance, responsibilities and sometimes we just need to unplug and this is my way of how I relax. Everybody's body is ultimately very different. So I think it's really important to tailor yourself your own workouts for your body and what suits with you. So what I do a lot is um, I focus on functional range conditioning, neurosomatic massages, breathing techniques and cryotherapy. This is something right now that works with my body the best. So functional range conditioning is basically a strength uh, kind of workout. So getting your joints to the point where they have the maximum range of motion. I'm going to demonstrate some of these exercises for you. So this is the cat cow workout. You are going from here, first chin, then chest, slowly making your spine into a half circle and then going back starting with your hips and again slowly stretching your spine back up finishing with your chin up so in this car i'm moving my leg in a half circle imagining i have a glass of water on my back that i do not want to spill by pushing my hips to the ground while pushing my leg up 
I focus on static stretching a lot as well, which means you are basically holding a pose in a stretch for about 45 seconds and then you switch to a different pose where you hold it for another 30 to 45 seconds again. In a static stretch, you take a pose where you feel stretched out and you stay in the pose for about 30 to 45 seconds while really deeply breathing. So I also developed a lot of body control exercises because especially as a female, I really wanted to have the best body control possible. So what I do is I take regular workouts and I add weights on my body. And I do the exercises with my arms and the weights in my hands. It actually really levels up your control. Also make sure that your weights are no more than three to five pounds because you don't want it to be a regular workout. You really want it to be a workout for the control only. Stay safe. With this vest, I'm going to be doing stops. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. I'm tensing my core and my legs and trying to make this stop as clean as possible. This weight vest helps me to make it really sharp and nice and levels up your control. For my arc control exercise, I'm going to raise my arms and again, tense my muscles in my arms and go stop, 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 and drill this exercise over and over again. Cryotherapy is a basically cold therapy for your whole body where you go into a freezer that has negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit and you are there for three and a half minutes. What it does with your body, it helps you to recover faster and better from soreness. Uh, it also helps your skin glow <laughs> and it also helps your mental health as well. Personal diet, as I would love to say, lifestyle is really important for dancers and people in general to really fuel your body the best food that you can to build up the best version of your body that you can. Lifestyle for me is to really make a conscious choice to change your eating habits completely to build a body that is going to serve you the best version for your dance. Whole foods are foods that are not processed. So if you go to a store, you can get yourself fruits, veggies, nuts and grains, or if you eat meat, also meat. It's basically food uh, that we were eating back in the day uh, when we were still hunting and picking berries. When you eat whole foods, you basically are cleaning your body from all the chemicals from the processed foods. What happens is when you eat a lot of processed foods are the chemicals are staying in your body and your body is not able to process the nutrition from the actual food. Processed foods make your body more sluggish, tired, you can have a brain fog or a fatigue and it doesn't help your stamina, it doesn't help your focus. So this is how whole foods are going to help you so much in dance. So when you are buying foods uh, that are packaged, I would definitely recommend to focus on the words that you cannot even pronounce that are in the ingredients. <laughs> That's now number one thing. Day one, I would also focus on not buying foods that have too long of a list of ingredients because that's for sure a no-no. If you take this almond butter, the only thing that you will see in the ingredients is almonds. That's what you are paying for. So alkaline and acidic foods. First, I would explain what alkaline and acidic means. So when we are born as a baby, our body is born alkaline, which means that our body has pH more than six and a half. Our body has on average pH 7.3. But when we grow up and we start to eat foods uh, such as potatoes, rice, meat, and processed foods, it's all very acidic foods. This acidic foods is taking the pH our body 
down. Diseases cannot really grow in alkaline environment and that's why our bodies actually have the natural ability to heal itself if our body is alkaline. The minute our pH is acidic, diseases love to live in acidic environment. So that's how normal diseases such as cold, flu, inflammation, joint pain, headaches coming, and also more serious diseases such as diabetes, heart diseases, uh, cancer and such. So it is the day of an amazing battle. Um, first thing when I wake up, I would have a really huge glass of water. It's about one liter of water that I would be drinking in the morning. After that, uh, I would be drinking some celery juice. After that, I might have some ginger shots because ginger shots are really great for your gut health. Lunch, I don't have until like 4 or 5 p.m. I would make some bowl that would have kale, chickpeas, mushrooms, fermented cabbage, avocado, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, sesame seed, and I would make a nice dressing from tahini and miso. Later that evening, I would maybe eat half a watermelon or some cherry moya or some fruits such as mangoes and papaya, and that would be my typical eating day. That sounds bomb! <laughs> this dance health journey definitely helped me out uh, in a long term completely transported my mental state and my physical body to help me in my dance, especially with a lot of traveling, with a lot of training. Uh, it helps me to recover faster, it helps me to focus, and it also helps me to feel better and more happy. Uh, that way I can connect with people better, and I would recommend this transformation for everyone. One of the most important things that I think is always to stay curious and always to seek for education. These conscious choices that I'm making in my health go back to my body and to my mental health and physical health to make me a better person, better dancer and better athlete. So I know this transformation might not happen overnight, but stay open-minded, stay curious, always educate yourself. I'm Yaya, thank you for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me on Instagram at Yaya Vaňková or my website yayavaňková.com.